Shalom. <clears throat> I want to say all praises to Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, I want to say all praises to Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Anyways, man, this is Apostle Rakar. I'm back once again with another little quick impromptu. <clears throat> I'm out here on the move, and the spirit uh, got on me. I want to just throw out a little quick video. Though I'm sitting in my truck, letting my truck warm up, the spirit got on me. So I said, let me just throw up a video, man. And basically, I mean, uh, it's hard to come up with titles sometimes. It's spiritual. Spirit got to give you a title, man. But basically, man, it's, uh, I guess I want to entitle this little video right quick. Uh, it's all about faith, man. And the reason I want to put this in, that it's all about faith, because, man, it's, it's nothing but scriptures, Ephesians 6 and, uh, Ephesians 6 and 10, 12 on down. <clears throat> scriptures talking about taking the shield of faith, okay? And then the scriptures also say that the judge shall live by faith. Because as as you brothers see, you brothers that got your ears, as Yahweh Shah talked about, <clears throat> this thing, the prophecies are really unfolding uh, right before our eyes, man. These prophecies are jumping off. The prophecies are unfolding right before our eyes, okay? So the only thing, when all this hell and the perils start taking place out here, okay, that's going to keep us uh, safe, that's going to keep us within that realm of the Most High, is our faith, okay? Uh, Apostle Gabal always says faith is a gift, man. Faith, every, not everybody has it, <clears throat> but brothers, well, we got to have faith on how, how, do you, uh, how do you acquire it or how do you increase it by way of prayer? Okay, that's why I always push the thing about prayer. We got to pray to the to the Most High to to give us to increase our faith and strengthen our faith, because that's the only thing that's gonna get us through, man. Your faith got to be strong as all goddamn hell. <clears throat> and if you have faith, then what? You'll do the work. Okay, you'll do you'll, you'll push the word out, man. You know, you, you get the videos out going. You show up at the camp, go out there in the cold or in the heat. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> That's what the scripture says. But the just shall live by faith. Okay? You understand what I'm saying? So that's how, through the spirit of the Lord, we're going to make it, man. That's why we got a prayer. And the scriptures always talk about pray, pray without ceasing. <clears throat> the Most High said also in the scriptures, give his ear no rest. So the times we're coming into right now, man, we got to be turned on all the time. We got to be highly turned on in the spirit. Because when the hell break loose out here, this dude, any any day now, that RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, is going to be issued out to people. So then it's going to be a, to a point of what you're going to do. And then, hey, man, the hour of temptation is coming. How are you going to get through the hour of temptation? By having faith in Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah. Because once they implement this martial law, they're going to lock these cities down. Food is going to be scarce. There ain't going to be no food. And you can see the buildup to that with this government shutdown. Because... People are already getting nervous. They're already uh, getting uh, scary about this whole thing. Primarily our people, even so-called white people. So they're going to implement that chip real soon. Because they're going to say, well, look, if you want to eat, you take this chip and you can be able to eat. So then what's going to happen? What's going to prevent us from not taking the chip? Faith in the most high. And how about Shem Yahweh Shah? So, okay, you don't want to take the chip, then you ain't going to eat. And furthermore, we're going to throw your ass up in a concentration camp throw you in this detention center. And that's all you're going to be left with is the faith in Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai going to deliver you, going to get you through. Okay? The Lord going to be with you. That's the only thing. It says that, man. So that's why we got to attend ourselves to prayer. And how do you do that? You constantly pray. As the scripture says, pray without ceasing, man. Romans, in the book of Romans, it says, and that knowing the time that is now is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. <clears throat> the, the night is far spent. Let us put off the works of darkness. Okay? So by doing all that, man, you got to pray to the Lord and constantly stay meditating upon these scriptures and stay actively involved in doing the work. Yahweh, I quoted the scripture earlier in another video. Yahweh Shah said this, um, Blessed is that servant that when his Lord cometh, he find him so doing. So we got to be in, in this thing, man, uh, in it to win it. Because this thing is getting serious now. The prophecies are straight up unfolding right before us, man. You understand? Right in front of our eyes. The, 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 everything that, that, that we saw and read in the scriptures is happening right here and right now. And now it's happening fast, too. So now the Spirit of the Lord is moving fast pace. Because, like I said, it seemed like things were tearing. That's what the, what the scripture says. Uh, 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 the, uh, the, uh, the most high don't count slackness as some men do. 
That's why a lot of guys fell off and fell out the truth because they ah, they lost. The scripture says, woe unto you that have lost patience. What will you do when the Lord shall visit you? And the reason those, the guys that was in this thing and the reason they fell off and fell out the truth and went back in the world was because they lost their, their, their faith or they had no faith. Because if they did, then they said, well, look, man, you guys said in the year 2000, Yahweh Shah was coming back and that came and went. Okay. But the brothers that maintained this, because they had faith that the Lord, he ain't come now, but at some point he going to come. <clears throat> As the scripture says, just a little while, and him that will that will uh, that that will appear shall appear. That's Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? I'm gonna quote the scripture one more time. But the just shall live by faith. <clears throat> so when the time come, when they implement this chip, when they implement this martial law, the only thing that's going to deliver you is your faith in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai that He's gonna be with us and He's gonna deliver us, man. Okay, that's it. But the belief in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, the Lord gonna be with you, man. You gonna eat, your family gonna eat, and you gonna be delivered. <clears throat> okay. But with that, brothers, you know that's the frame of mind that we gotta be in. I just wanted to put that out there real quick, man. So um, I'm gonna say shalom. This is just a little quick impromptu to throw those little spiritual thoughts out there. All right. And I'm gonna say shalom as I always do to the elect and barakatay Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Shalom.